I read this article in the Miami Herald and it talked about the Fillmore Theater. So $29 million worth of funds are supposed to be allocated to that building for renovations and repairs. The Miami Beach commissioners, they wanna walk it back. They don't wanna throw $29 million at something that they consider to be just a Band-Aid. One of the commissioners had recently experienced the London Bridge Theater in England and said that Miami Beach needs a state-of-the-art facility because she had such a great experience at this theater. But I will tell you that we have made advancements recently. In 2006, the Adrian Arts Center is introduced to Miami. Shortly thereafter, in 2011, the New World Symphony is introduced. So now there's two new world-class facilities for the arts here in Miami. But meanwhile, you've got the Tower Theater, which basically was taken away from Miami-Dade College. The Guzman Theater has been shut down. The Grove Playhouse has been going through 20 years of trying to figure out what the future of that building is going to be. And now you've got the Fillmore, a building with true history. When you think about the taping of the Jackie Gleason show, Madonna had a residency in this building. You've had USA and Miss Universe pageants. So many musical acts. The Dick Clark show is there. Frank Sinatra and Bob Hope used to be guests often to see shows at the Miami Beach Auditorium, which becomes the Jackie Gleason and then becomes the Fillmore. My point is that we keep knocking down all of these structures that have some sort of historical relevance to Miami, very much the same way we did with the Orange Bowl. So if we knock down the Orange Bowl to build Marlins Park, which has been pretty much a disaster. It's it's a white elephant. No one goes to it. And we're going to knock down the Fillmore to build another worst world-class structure that no one's going to go to. What are we doing here? This, this just doesn't all add up. It seems to me if we just keep letting our old structures get dilapidated, much like what happened with the DeVille Hotel, we'll just deem it to be an unsafe structure, knock it down, and then be forced to put something new. And instead of really trying to preserve our history, if you take a look at the Chicago Theater in Chicago, Illinois, they have refurbished that theater from the 1930s several times. It fits about 3,000 people, just like the, the Fillmore. The Lincoln Theater in New York, built around the same time as the Fillmore, has gone through many renovations. It's a world-class theater. Why can't we figure out a way to retrograde, take our old structures, keep them fresh, keep them new, and have that be ingrained in the arts scene here in Miami. I just don't understand why every single time we have an older structure, we're deemed to knock it down. Are we not capable of restoring some of these buildings? I think we are. So what do you guys think? I ask you, the Fillmore Theater, reno or demo? Let me know in my comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts.